恥ずかしいんだ You see now, you done fucked up, you know that, don't you? Welcome everyone to my humble abode. Grab a drink, make sure it's cold. We're we'll talking about anime, new and old. Hey, 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 hold the phone. We doing things a little bit differently today. Welcome to the cool edition of the Anime Lounge. Dig this here, dudes and dolls. Put your fingers up and snap. And join me as we appreciate a few of the coolest cats and kittens in anime. That's right, we're going to be talking about some of the most suave, debonair, baddest with class cats to do it in anime. Before we get into it, if you consider yourself one of the coolest cats around, go on and hit that subscribe button. Give that notification bell a snap. And if you have a good time, go on and hit that like button. Join us, cheer with us, laugh with us, and without further ado, now take on this. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yuji Kazumi, a dude so cool his code name is Ace. Trained by a Japanese black ops assassin, cool, calm, and collected. He takes over his master's spot and becomes efficient in taking out the trash. Looking to move past his gritty reality, all he wants to do is have a normal school life. So he finds himself at Mihama Academy, a school with five lovely females and students who are hidden away from the world due to some traumatic experiences. And it didn't take long at all before this cool cat started stealing their hearts. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, look at that. She's so smitten she can't control herself. Using his elite assassin training background, Kazumi handles every situation with poise and grace, rarely ever losing his nerve. So much so that he becomes a protector of this academy, handling a split person Natalie Sundir who says she wishes she was dead. <laughs> we need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Buried her alive. You what? Kazumi has no limits when it comes to taking care of his girls. Even if it means making this father believe he just watched his daughter blow herself up with a grenade to teach him a lesson. Ho oh, ho, brother, ho, oh, whoa, 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 now. Nah. And it wasn't too long before they started calling him daddy. Kazumi was a diligent heartthrob student by day, unrivaled top black ops assassin by night. Real talk, this man was no f***ing joke. This dude was on a boat and sniped a man who was attacking the school at a urinal. This shit was cold, bruh. Y'all gotta watch this show if you haven't. <clears throat> yeah, Kazumi, you one cool cat. Revy, Revy, Revy. How you doing, cool mama? One of the baddest mercenaries this side of town. She likes a little more pizzazz in her life. Dwelling in the chaos of a crime-ridden city. Nothing puts a smile on this lady's face more than doing her job. She loves to live on the wild side. Don't get too sassy with this wild mama. She don't take no mess from nobody. Test her patience and fail. You might just end up in the upper room. Revy's so cool, everything she does, she does with style. You can't catch an angle where she isn't looking cool. Reading a book, eating some fruit, riding in the back of a car, shooting a rocket launcher at a militant ship with one hand. She just oozes charisma. You heard a two-face 
Now meet two hands. She got a trigger for both fingers that'll split you down the middle. Give you two faces, leave you buried in two places. Yeah. Now listen! That's called mother Boy. Her precision and style in which she handles her opposition got many questioning if she's even human. The baddest member of Black Lagoon, a one woman army, a tough upbringing removed any sympathy and pity she has for the human race. Unbothered with seeing literal death right in front of her. When God and love were out of stock, she ran to money and guns. You might see those military medals on these fallen soldiers as memorabilia for their families they left behind, but f that. Revy sees them as good revenue. <laughs> Damn, Revy, you one cold mama. But don't get it twisted, there is a soft side to this battle hardened vixen. You just gotta be ready to go through a couple of bullets to get there. Revy, you are one cool cat. <laughs> Go f yourself. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Red King, Makoto Suo, hot headed leader of the Red Clan. First things first, this man here got style. Look at that jacket. He got the hairstyle and the piercings to boot. Look at that v-neck. It just screams, I don't give a f This man even lands in style. Look, ma, no hands. One of the baddest mofos on this list. In the world of many kings, he is feared for being the most destructive. His clan uses the power of fire, and even his fire has an unparalleled level of elegance. Look at that fire. So serene, so classy, stylish if you will. Beauty in its nature, a destructive force not to be fucked with. This man is out for vengeance. His clan is his family and if you mess with his family, you mess with old daddy over here and he don't play none of that shit. You feel me? Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. This man is unbothered on another level. He allowed himself to be captured just so he can enjoy a nice uninterrupted nap. But don't let his slacker attitude misguide you. When it's time for action, not only does he get busy, but he does it with style. When he felt like it was time to make his move and get out of captivity, this man just said, Time's up! Any attempts in stopping this man's plans will simply go up in flames. Look at how he effortlessly just keeps his cool while one man armying his way out of this facility. Such grace, he leaves everyone in awe. What you gonna do with that sore little man? You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Yeah, just what I thought. Not a damn thing. Even in the heat of battle, he fights with style and class. A swag fit for a king. He was one bad mother- Watch your profanity. I'm only talking about Makoto. Crollo Lucilfa. I feel like you gotta say the whole thing every time, like a pimp named Slickback. His name alone is already one of the coolest in all of anime. What book you reading there, man? Eat your, eat your paradise? Leader of the Phantom Troop. Some say he's the strongest. I say he's definitely the most stylish. Look at that jacket, the Supreme Kai earrings. Dressed to impress. A man of mystery, searching for his own identity, never wavering in the face of adversity. He keeps his calm composure and addresses every situation with class. A man so cool, it drives our favorite horny boy Hisoka insane. He can't wait to get his hands on this cool daddy -o. You will never see any worry on this man's face. Look at that Hakuna Matata expression. This man is so smooth. Every time he speaks, it's like gospel to his teammates. I give you permission to kill them all. Anyone who dares to get in our way. What did he say? But if you think his worry-free attitude means you can just take him lightly. Wrong. 
Wrong. This man will throw hands with the most elite assassins of the land, and then just walk off, cause it's all a part of his plan. Yeah. Now listen! Crollo Lou Silva will Help fuck you up and me. make it sound poetic, like getting stomped out by Andre 3000. This cool cat is the embodiment of I ain't mad at you. Hey boss, I think there's a traitor who leaked our plans and then our heist was a bust. I ain't mad at you. Locked inside a room with the top assassins of the hunter world. I ain't mad at you. I just sealed off your nin and now I'ma take you hostage. I ain't mad at you. I was never really a part of the Phantom Troop and I just wanted to finally fight you. I ain't mad at you. But on my mama, if I had my nin, I'd fuck you up. Don't get it twisted. Crollo Lucifer, Silver, you are one cool cat. Ayano Koji Kiyotaka. How you doing, my man? You still acing those pop quizzes? This cool cat here exudes the most leave me the fuck alone energy I've ever seen. Look at that face. Not a single fuck is left to give. Dig this here, crazy cats. I know Koji is a man of mystery. Raised in a sketchy white room where he was watching bodies hit the floor all around him. And he didn't give a damn. Look at that. That kid can't even breathe. Got an animal crack in his trope. This Mac Daddy entered advanced nurturing high school and scored 50 out of 100 on every subject on purpose. It takes the coolest of cats to choose what grade you get on the exams. This man entered this academy and single-handedly flipped the hierarchy upside down. A wolf in sheep's clothing. He doesn't want all eyes on him. He prefers to lay low in style. But if you make the wolf bear his fangs. Everything that happens in this class and school is all by his design. He respects no one, but is respected by all. He handles any and all situations with the utmost calmness. He sees humans merely as tools to be used by him to accomplish his own goals. A handsome devil, the girls put his hand on their chest. No, for real, don't play like that. He actually has to try and turn his coolness off just so he can look normal. Avoid any unwanted attention. This academy can't handle a man of his caliber in an establishment meant to house the most prestigious candidate with minimal effort. He stands atop as the most elite. <laughs> Yeah, the first cool cat duo on the list, Sora and Shiro. Two siblings collectively known online simply as Blank. There wasn't a name that could possibly embody the magnitude of their cool level. These two are on such a different level, they had to be taken to an entirely different world because the one they were born in couldn't handle their level of style. Whether it's against advanced computer AI or even the gods themselves, these gaming legends laid a smackdown on all who opposed them, you dig? They go together like Rama Lama Lama Kadinga the Dinga Dong. Living in a world dictated by the rules of game and being the master of games means that they had the entire world in the palm of their hand. Orange. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Look at that magnificent style. From mere peasants to kings and queens, they effortlessly rise to the top of the rankings of this world. And they don't take shit from nobody. Yeah, lady. Fuck 
your grandpappy. I'm your daddy now. Even when faced with the most challenging of tasks, Blank will take on the ultimate risk. Look adversity in the eye with a grin oozing confidence and say fuck that. I'm the best and there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. These cool cats will take you for everything you got. So you best be prepared when dancing with these devils. Oh, hello. Real nice weather today, huh? You know you a cool cat when you get your own spin-off show. You wasn't even a main character. So cool his birth was felt throughout the cosmos. The miracle child picking up the mantle left by his passing father. The man Aladdin wishes he could be. Get him. A man from humble beginnings who becomes a king, a leader, a dungeon capturer, possessing the power of God, the master of a nation, conqueror of the seven seas. <laughs> That's a lot of water. You stupid. Just the mere mention of his name makes the lady swoon. Your Highness, my name is Sinbad, King of Sindria. <coughs> Look at them threads. An outfit fit only for a king. Those Super Bowl rings he got on his fingers, each one literally contains the power of a god. And he's not afraid to show it off. <laughs> A man so suave he outclasses everyone in this world of magic. Surely you weren't robbed of all your belongings by those hideous thieves, were you? Surely I was. What did he say? <laughs> and even more so when he's battling. A man of the people. Off the charts charisma steals the show every time he arrives. A guy so cool he looks exquisite in every transformation. Look at that. That's the of a champion. Pause. Sinbad, you are one cool cat. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Takumi Usui. The first thing we see him do is reject the love confession. <laughs> oh, the indifference is killing her inside. Get him. An immediate heartbreaker. But don't let that sour your opinion on old daddy over here. He already knew who he wanted his number one to be the tyrannical. Dangerous, no nonsense, student council president by day, diligent, adorable, cute maid servant by night, Misaki Ayuzawa. Dig this here. In this school, there's a hierarchy, and at the tippity toppity of that hierarchy sits Takumi. His presence is one that commands respect. The big daddy of the male population. The ladies, They can't get enough of old daddy over here. Maximum swoonage whenever he's around. His mysterious nature turns the lady so crazy they can't help but to start stalking the cat. Handling every task with high class or perfectionist. Should any problem arise, everyone runs to the ultimate problem solver. You can't catch this man with a single bad frame. Every time you see him, he's looking as cool as cool can be. His possessive trait turns him into the ultimate protector. For his lady, he will sacrifice. Hey, young man. He will f you up respectfully. And he still does it all in style. A man of many talents. He does it all. Shoot, this Mac Daddy could be a superhero in disguise for all we know. He's the strongest, the fastest, the prettiest, and without a doubt, 
We know he's the coolest. Kiss s h i t e m o r a k e n a a s u g a w a Yuri. s u g a w a Nho, a show ni at the end of the day. s a g a s h I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. I'm one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Just putting it out there, this guy is one of my favorite vampire characters in anime. Ah, yeah. Kanami Kur. This Mac Daddy here is the progenitor of his clan. Vampires are always so suave, stylish, seductive, sexy, smooth. And this man here is the originator. So you know. This cool cat is on a whole different level. The purest breed in existence that's feared even by other vampires. Unrivaled power and beauty. Yeah, this man is literally built different. Here at Cross Academy, there's a coexistence of humans and vampires, made possible solely on the fact that this man is here. Being a pure blood puts this cat here at the top of the vampire hierarchy. And those beneath serve and obey his orders, meaning that he's here to keep these vampires in check. Don't go acting like a jive turkey in front of old daddy over here, cause he keeps his pimp hand very strong. This man is the elite of the elite. He got so much juice, he got the girls lining up just to see him. But don't get it confused. Kind of make kids for one girl and one girl only. Yuki, his heart and soul. A smooth operator, fine wine and dine. Even though he's always calm and composed, if anyone was to ever, 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 ever. try to mess with Yuki, I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. I'm one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Look at that. Even when he taking out his enemies, he does it with style. Such grace and beauty. Articulate and eloquent. Every frame he's in is like a work of art. You cannot catch him slipping. Even when he's looking sad, he's looking cool. He'll bite a girl's neck and have her passing out like she's at a Michael Jackson concert. A voice that could talk your drawers off. Yami n a s a i Yuki. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. Everyone bows down to this lord. Kanami, you are one cool son of a bitch. Kanami-sama, more. Enjoy yourself. Hey, 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 Perfect, peerless, handsome, suave, pretty, pretty Ricky, what they called him. Unfathomable swag. The reason this list was even made, all these words describe one man and one man only. Sakamoto k u n If you open up a dictionary and try to look up the word k u n you wouldn't find it. Instead, you see a picture of this man right here. This cat right here is so k u n they started the show off by hating on him. Everything this man does is perfect. The fellas can't stand it, and the ladies can't take it. Look at that. Maximum swoonage. He even makes McDonald's look good. Alright, real quick. Watch how hard this man hit this boy at this park. This shit was crazy. Damn! He knocked the wick fries out that motherfucker. Get out. This cat right here has reached a level of style and cool that goes beyond comprehension. It's actually supernatural. 
I'm convinced he's actually a god in human form. His flawlessness is so extreme it actually becomes a problem. He comes over for lunch and the mommies can't control themselves. An immediate homewrecker. It's okay, side husband. We feel your pain. Nobody can match this daddy over here. Y'all were born normal humans. Oh, I'm hurt. A master bubble blower. Watch your back, Sponge Bobby O. This man was even dodging dust. I don't think y'all heard me. This man was dodging dust. He was sweeping the ceiling while dodging dust. Next level. This Mac Daddy has a vibe that can never be killed. Shoes got stolen? No problem. He just drew new ones on his socks and glided around the school in style. I'm actually concerned for daddy -o over here. He can't help but look stylish and suave, even in sickness. Pretty Ricky, what they called him. A being so perfect, even Cell would get jealous. So stylish, he doesn't need to obey the laws of physics. He maxed out all of his stats in life. Did I mention he got into a sword fight with the bee? <laughs> You know how cool you gotta be to sword fight with a bee? Even the title of this show is asking you. Haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto-kun. You know you're about to hear about a legend. Everything he does is not only cool, not only cooler, but it is indeed the coolest. Sakamoto-kun, you are the coolest cat out there. Pretty Ricky, what they called him. Well, all right, dudes and dolls. Thank you for joining our cool edition of the Anime Land. Who are some other cool cats y'all seen in anime? Whose style outshines everyone else? Let me know down in the comments below. But before you go, you can show how cool you are by hitting that like button, sharing the video, tell your friends about me, and subscribing if you're new to the channel. If you made it to the end, you know what? You, my dear viewer, are one cool cat. Stay groovy. And as we always do when we close out, let's all raise a glass in the air. Here's to anime.